Prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men in the UK. One in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. Screening for prostate cancer by testing for levels of a protein in the blood called PSA is controversial because we don't yet know for certain whether the benefits of screening outweigh the side effects of treatment. Our team set up the largest ever trial to investigate whether a one-off screen can prevent men from dying of prostate cancer while reducing the chance of side effects in men who would not benefit from treatment. We followed over 400,000 men who were aged 50 to 69 between 2001 and 2009. Half the men were randomised to be invited for a PSA screen, the intervention group, and half the men underwent standard NHS treatment, the control group. The intervention was a single invitation to have a PSA blood test, followed by a biopsy if men had raised PSA levels. We looked at the number of prostate cancer deaths after an average time of 10 years follow-up. In the intervention group, 40% had PSA testing. 4% had raised PSA levels, which led to most of them having a prostate biopsy. After an average 10 years, the incidence of prostate cancer in the intervention group was higher than in the control group. 4.3% of men compared to 3.6% of men, or an extra seven per 1,000. However, the crucial finding was that there was little difference in the number of men who died of prostate cancer between the intervention and control groups. Nearly three per 1,000 men died in both groups after the 10 years follow-up. So what does this mean? Detailed analysis showed that while an invitation to a one-off PSA test increased the detection of prostate cancer, it did not reduce the number of men who died of prostate cancer. So, the current results indicate that this low-intensity screening program did not reduce prostate cancer death rates over the follow-up period of 10 years. There is evidence of an increase in the detection of more prostate cancers because of the screening. However, it's difficult to know how this will play out over the next five years, where the screening will eventually lead to a difference in prostate cancer death rates in the longer term. The problem remains that screening the whole population of men leads to the diagnosis of too many cancers, many of which would not benefit from being treated. What's needed now is to identify methods of targeting screening to find those men most likely to benefit from treatment. If you'd like to know more about this study, please take a look at our other videos.